You also would want to give uh, a prop impulse to the door. Uh, <laughs> getting a bit tired here. Impulse. Add prop impulse. This, uh, this is a bit advanced, I suppose. Uh, impulse pretty much pushes it in a direction according to coordinates. Uh, there's a lot of things to explain about this function, but pretty much if you want the door to swing open as you pull the crowbar, you're gonna need this. So let's put it in right here. Uh, let's take it slowly and uh, the name that is being pushed is the door. Uh, these are the x, y, and z. So uh, right now I'm just gonna put them 0, 0, 0. These are x, y, and z, or z, whatever. Uh, these are the coordinates, and this can be tricky. The first one is x, and uh, the best way to explain this, I suppose, is the level editor. Um, what I usually do when I check on the uh, push force, what directions to push it, we want to push it uh, in the direction of the blue arrow, right? We want to push it that way. So uh, this way, and that is positive z. Uh, I'm going to undo the movement though. So we want to push it in positive z. And uh, this is x, this is y, and this is z. So we want to push it in positive z, so therefore we put the number on this one. If it would be negative z, we put a minus in front. 3 is the number we're going to use in this one. And uh, the last thing is uh, just put a string and put world in that. I don't even bother to know what that means. It's just what kind of system it uses and uses the world or whatever. So, and this is, I suppose, the tricky part because if your door is, say, if your door is that way, the number has to be changed. Uh, my door is uh, this way, which is facing the positive z. It's facing the positive z, or not facing, but it's going to swing that way. If your door is going to swing in positive x, you're going to have to put the number on this one. Positive x is the red arrow. Uh, the, uh, the y you don't need to worry because it's not going to go up or down. It's just going to go in either of four directions. So uh, if it's positive z, you put 3 there. If it's positive x, you put 3 there. If it's negative x, pretty much the op opposite way of the uh, red arrow, it's going to be negative 3 here. And if it's uh, going the other way of the blue, the opposite direction of the blue arrow, it's going to be negative 3 right there. Hopefully I explained that in a matter that you can understand. It's, it's quite tricky, but uh, yeah. Hopefully you understand that. Now let's continue on this. Let's create the particle system that we want for extra detail, of course. Partic particle, damn it, particle, no, damn it, par par I can't even type, create particle, yeah. Create particle system at entity. This is what you look up. Copy this line, paste it in right here tab there. String particle system name. This is just like the internal name of everything else. It doesn't need one unless you refer to it. This is going to be the file uh, plus extension ps. Uh, ps underscore hit underscore wood dot ps. This is the particle system name for um, the uh, yeah breaking wood. Hitting wood actually. Um, so uh, you could go find another one but that is that's the one that I recommend unless you're using an iron door you might want um, hit metal or s I think that's the name of it and the entity uh, which it's going to play is the uh, area effect that we made in the in the level which is like there yeah that, that one it's at the lock it's where you place it so once it busts open it's gonna make some dust right here and save blah, 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 split false there. Save it. It's pretty much um, determines whether it should remember. It should, it's like if it's paused, it should remember from it should resume from where it paused. But it's not that important. Just ignore that. Um, all right. So let's put some other some other small effects on it. Let's see. Actually, it's just um, higher. Let's give them a sanity boost. Sanity. 
to set the player. Um, here, I'm gonna give them a small sanity boost. All you gotta do is just copy this line and paste it in, and there it is, done. Nothing more to it. And there we go, the particle, no, uh, sanity boost. Alright, so we also want to play some sound as it breaks open, of course. So let's just copy this line right here that we already have, so we won't have to define everything again. Uh, no name, who cares about the name? And this uh, file is going to be break, break underscore wood underscore metal. Pretty much uh, makes like. Uh, since it's metal in the crowbar, it's part of the sound. It's pretty much busting up. You you would probably you'll notice when you play. And this is going to be also the sound is going to be played at the same area as the particle system. So just put it there. Actually, let's just move the sound up here as well to make it look a bit more. Yeah. Okay. So one more thing. Well, actually, two more things, but one more thing. We want some play music. And actually, I should have searched that up here. Play, play music. Uh, all these right here. Copy and paste and shit. And uh, the music file is going to be 10 puzzle 01 underscore 01 or something like that. Dot OGG. It was actually 10 underscore puzzle one like that loop it's not gonna loop the volume let's just put the volume to one or we could put it to two fade time I'm just gonna put it to 0 0.1 whatever priority one resume um, false and save that and yeah Actually, the priority should be pretty high because it's just played once as sort of like in sound effect and not just a theme. So, uh, and also apparently the volume is 0 0.7. Anyway, the last thing that we want to add is a timer. It's going to be a very quick timer. Add timer. If you remember all of these functions, you can just write them right in name you can put whatever it's going to be 0 0.1 in time nothing at all and the event is going to be timer push door or whatever so yeah Whew, that's a lot of things to do in this uh, now we can finally relax because we're nearly done there's only one thing left to do that is a little tricky but um, if you uh, understand what i explained about the prop impulse earlier it shouldn't be too hard to figure out Alright, so let's just start off making a void timer push door and uh, string and oh, string crap. Holy crap, I suck at typing. I don't know why I'm not this bad at typing. Um, Alright, string push, push door. Alright, so what is going to happen in this door is it's going to give the door another impulse because right now it's only pushed in one direction. And and it wouldn't actually swing open because it needs to be pushed like forwards and then slightly diagonal. So this is the part where I don't know how to do it if you have a diagonal door, if you have a door that's not facing uh, either of the four main directions. So um, yeah, but let's see what we can do. First of all, we want to make give it another prop impulse. Let's just copy the whole line up here. Paste it in right there. Um, yeah. And it's going to be the same system here as it says on the page. It's usually world anyway. Uh, let's just put zero here temporarily. Same entity. One thing that you can be sure to add is on the Y. You can put two because it's uh, going to be that anyway. Um, but now we also got to open up the level editor to see how to actually push this thing. As for my door, I think this is how it's going to be pushed uh, negative four and positive one um, pretty much let's see the direction the door is going to be pushed first of all it starts off at being pushed that way along the blue but it's also going to push be pushed direct uh, diagonal that way 
So uh, it's minus 4 in x, which means the direction I'm looking now, that way. Oh. And uh, pushed uh, 4 in that direction and also 1 in the uh, back direction. Not sure if that's correct. Let me check it. Yeah, so pretty much it's going to be pushed in this direction. It's going to be pushed a little bit. It's going to be pushed one number, uh, like one unit, in this direction that it's uh, going to open. And then it's going to be pushed four in the direction it swings around. So it's going to be pushed that way. Uh, this door is uh, not the same uh, direction as the one I used in the example before. So I might get these wrong. Uh, if you don't understand it correctly, exactly, you could experiment a little round, but uh, it's important to get these numbers correct. So what I'm going to do, oh, I actually closed that. What I'm going to do to find out uh, what the values are supposed to be is I'm going to look at the, these things again, the blue and the red one. Since it's going to be pushed one unit in the blue arrow, that means it's going to have to add one to the Z or Z because the blue is Z and uh, the red one is X and it's going to be pushed 4 in the opposite direction of X so it's going to be uh, minus not dot minus 4 in that direction and uh, that means it's being pushed 1 forward and 4 to the to the right so hopefully that works if not <laughs> I'll, I'll check it out maybe but um, it should work if unless I'm thinking very bad now I think it should work anyway uh, that's pretty much the impulse and now it's just some very simple small things to add to end off the whole event and everything this timer is just going to reset a simple effect that we disabled earlier so we're just gonna add timer and uh, doesn't need a name it's 1.1 seconds and it's a timer door can close I'm just gonna name it that but we can name it whatever go here void timer door can close and string add in as timer and uh, pretty much it resets a effect an effect we put here this one it's gonna make the door able to close again or else it might act a little funny so just put false on that one and now we are completely done with the whole code it is a lot and hopefully you follow it along <laughs> maybe you understand it better than I do because I mean I understand it but it's, it's quite hard to explain a lot of the things now let's give it a test around to see if it actually works let's go back and make sure that we load up the correct map crowbar 2 wasn't it yeah so uh, let's load up Amnesia and see if it works. Alright, here we are. Uh, the light that I placed in the level is exactly inside there, so the lighting is quite strange. But as you can see, the door is locked right now. I mean, you can... Oh. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, the door is locked. Uh, you can't go through, but let's see if we can pick up the crowbar. And use it on the door. Yep, puts a crowbar there. If you heard all the sounds and everything, and there you are, it worked perfectly. It worked probably better than the example I had in the in the video in the beginning. Yeah, and that is how to make a crowbar door. And uh, I'm sorry that the video is very long. I I keep getting this feeling that I have to explain everything. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, it's a good thing or not. Uh, I feel like some tutorials are a bit too um, too short and they expect you to know everything. And that some are just uh, very quick. And But some of them are just really quick and they get to the point. Maybe I'm not one of those. I don't... Uh, I just made a very lengthy video but anyway i uh, hope you found it helpful and uh, enjoyed it i hope 
hopefully you can make a good crowbar door now if you understand how to do it I, I will have a download link or a link in the description if you want to download all the code or everything so you won't have to type it uh, yeah so yeah that's pretty much it and see you later Thank you.